Hi dear students, how are you? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's topic is Prophet Dawud al-Islam. Prophet Dawud al-Islam is called David by the Jewish people or the Christian people. Mother Dawud al-Islam was born in Jerusalem, Palestine, or Israel, born in 1040 before Christ died in the year 970 BC at the age of 70 years. Father's name was Isa, Isra, father of Hazrat Suleiman, Titer, Khalifatullah, Hushulhani and Najibullah, referred Khalifa in the Holy Quran, teacher of Hakim Luqman, invented Zara, capital of the you know, kingdom was Jerusalem, prophet for the people of Bani Israel, prophet for the people of Bani Israel, expert in singing flute or bansri. The prophet Dawood is mentioned in the Holy Quran for 16 times. The holy book Zabur, Salams, was revealed on him, just like Torah was revealed on to Hazrat Musa al-Islam, Injil, Gospel on Prophet Isa al-Islam, served as police officer in the king of Talut army. Talut went to conquer Palestine with his army. In the Palestinian army there was a big giant, ruthless man, man called Goliath. Half of the Talut's army had left after seeing that giant man. Prophet Dawood al-Islam came forward to fight Goliath and beat him in the combat. He was famous for defeating Goliath. King Talut, fulfilling his promise, gave his daughter Miguel in marriage to Hazrat Dawood al-Islam. Dawood or David had a beautiful voice that when he recites praises for Allah, people, birds, plants, and mountains enjoyed listening to his voice or um, pray to Almighty Allah. Dawud al-Islam understand the language of animals. Talut got jealous of Dawud and popularity and sent him to a deadly battle that he won. His wife informed him that her father, Talut, is plotting to kill him, asked him to leave Israel, so he left. After leaving Israel, he rested in a cave like last prophet. People came and requested him for his help to get rid of King Talut. Talut was a cruel ruler and maltreating his people in the kingdom. He killed Talut's military commander. Uh, he, Dawud al Islam, defeated Talut and forgave him. His message of God prevailed. He ascended the throne and became king of Israel. He had 71 wives, sons, 19. His tomb is in Jerusalem, Israel. Wish you good luck. Take care of yourself and others. Be a good man. Thank you.